Hi guys, my name's Tom Thorpe. I want to show you some of the equipment which I'd use to raise the alarm or to get help during an emergency situation on a sea kayaking trip. So these are flares. So this is a parachute flare. These are red lights. And this is a day and night flare. So we've got a smoke and we've got a red light. So traditional flares are great, however, they're only really useful if there are people around to see them. The parachute flare obviously goes quite high up in the air, but there's only one of them, usually, because they're quite heavy. Flares go out of date, they are full of nasty things and they're quite dangerous. It's getting increasingly difficult to get rid of them, so when they are out of date, passing them on, it's usually only the big Coast Guard stations which will accept them now. And also, obviously, travelling with them is a no-no. You can't go on planes. Ferries are starting to get quite strict, and rightly so. So, moving towards electronic devices. This is an electronic handheld flare. And although this is just light, it's very bright, and in dim daylight conditions, it's also very relevant. So there's a few settings. So although it's daylight and sunny right now, you can still see it's very bright. And it's actually so bright, it hurts my eyes a little bit if I was to look at that. Especially at the, in the night time, um, it would really mess up my vision. So a great thing about this, you can actually direct the light away from you. So if I was in a kayak holding this up, it wouldn't be shining in my face, that's amazing. It's got a 10 year battery life, very waterproof, highly tested, so it's unlikely to fail, unlike some of those traditional flares which do fail from time to time. PLB, personal location beacon. So this sends a signal, if you were to activate it, to NASA, NASA contact our Coast Guard and then the RNLI and the other rescue services would mobilise to come and try and find you. Your location keeps pinging so they can hone in on your location. These are becoming a standard piece of equipment now. Make sure you go to your local channelry or a really good water sports shop and they can teach you how to use these properly because it's not quite as simple as you think. Amazing though, get one. VHF. So most of us carry VHFs and that means we can communicate with our friends, um, ships and shipping lanes, lookout stations and we can also raise the alarm. This is a line of sight device so if you're surrounded by cliffs it's going to be quite tricky for anybody to hear you or no one's going to hear you. However if there's ships out at sea they can do a mayday relay. Make sure you get yourself onto a course, our RYA course you do need a license and there are particular ways to use it. Brilliant piece of equipment. The DSC ones, slightly heavier, bulkier, less battery life. Standard, compact, float and flash. Amazing. A couple of things people don't usually talk about, which I think are actually the most important, is a headlight and a map or a chart. Knowing your location, being able to tell other people your location is super important. So you can get GPS's which can help you as well. Um, the mobile phone apps, the mobile phones are great. Touch screens do struggle with saturated fingers, even in a case. But a headlight can shine forwards, sideways or behind you. Hands free, high power LED. This one's got a red light as well and it's waterproof. Make sure you get yourself a decent head torch. Just because there's all this gear to keep you safe doesn't mean that you can go beyond your limits too much and push your, push your boundaries and be unsafe. These are last resorts pieces of equipment unless you're a guide um, then you should be comfortable using all that stuff anyway. But plan your trips well and have a good time. Cheers guys.